one of the most beautiful love stories in the Old Testament is the story of Othniel and Oxa. A lot of people don't like it at first. I remember speaking about this in chapel once upon a time. And I asked the young ladies, what if your father said to all the young men, defeat this city of giants, you can have my daughter as your wife. And they all with one voice said, no way! Or something to that effect. And then I pointed some things out to them. Let's, let's talk about this man. And this is exactly the deal that was made for Othniel. You take the city, you get Oxa. What does, what does Oxa know about the man who will take the city? Well, first of all, to take on giants, you have to trust in God. We've learned before that unbelief does not defeat giants. He will be a godly man. He's going to be a smart man because not everybody's called to be a military leader. He's going to know some strategy and some tactics. He's going to have some craftiness and wits about him. He's going to have friends who will follow him into battle. Good friends. Strong friends. And they're going to be friends who trust his leadership, who trust him to lead them into battle. And more than that, value this particular assignment. You want to take a city to marry the girl. Sounds good to us. Their friends are going to have a high opinion of you, Oxa. And they're going to be loyal to Othniel. And they're going to be brave, godly warriors. Hmm, this sounds good. When he takes the city, he'll be rich. He'll own a city. He'll be a ruler. That's pretty good. And he's going to do all these things because he loves you. He's going to risk his life and the life of his friends to have you be his wife, companion, friend, the mother of his children for the rest of his life. So what are we missing here? Good looks. I think you can learn to like his looks given everything else.